Ta-da! All right, everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to check out some more of the Kano Computer Kit Hack Minecraft tools. Uh, we're back in the origin story of Hack Minecraft. So you can see the 10 different activities you can do here to learn how to do some visual based coding. Uh, we're going to check out the Holy Moly tutorial here, learn how to make holes uh, wherever you want. You can change the size. And so if you're just starting, it'll be pretty blank and they'll walk you through each step. And then on the left here, you've got all your different tools that you can use, everything you can change, everything from uh, what blocks you want to use, some logic and math. If you want to do some loops, uh, you can move your player around. And then uh, as you start getting more advanced, you can add in variables and do a little more complex stuff. This one's pretty basic though. In the middle here, you got your workspace. Uh, and this one, so whenever you hit the H key, any code you attach will execute. And then on the right here is a preview of what you've coded. And then if you want to see the JavaScript, it'll be under this tab here. So as you add blocks, it'll start populating the JavaScript that's actually running in the background. And any previous ones that you've coded are over here on the right. So you can go in through and edit those. But we're going to go ahead and do the holy moly uh, tutorial. So they want you to go ahead and click the craft. And although this says cube, it's got some options under there. We're going to do a sphere. So we'll drop it on the workspace. And go ahead and change it from cube to sphere. And you can see that's got the nice, not so round Minecraft sphere there. And this one I'll explain in a minute, but they want you to click this filled button and you can make it bigger. So the radius here, as you increase it, your sphere gets bigger. Now, even though it tells you to go to five, I mean, you can set it to whatever you want. Make it really big. Uh, for some reason, I think it's too big for the preview. It's there, but we'll go ahead and drop it down to seven so you can see it. And right now, it's not really creating a hole. It's creating a big ball of dirt. So we don't want dirt, we wanna make a hole. So we change it to empty blocks. And you can see now that it'll replace that area with empty space. So that's how you get your hole. And here you can see kind of what the field does. If you don't check that, it just does the shell. It doesn't actually do the space inside. So for instance, if you wanna dig a big hole, you wanna fill that. But if you're building a house, you don't wanna fill it because then it would be one giant block. You just want the walls of the house. So you wouldn't want it filled for house. All right, and that's all there is to it. You just click that, you see the preview, and you can either uh, click the open in Minecraft or hit your tab key, get back to your world, and find a nice place. You can see some of the stuff we were messing with earlier. But go to find a spot over here, test it out, come over here, and you hit the H key to execute your code, and hit the H, and there you go, just deleted it all out. And of course, since I did it right on the edge of the water, it's all rushing in, but you can kind of see your hole that you dug there. And oops, gotta hit the E key and get your blocks that pop up. So if you wanted to dig this whole area out for something, maybe you wanted to build something else, you didn't want to have to go all through here and dig it out. Just keep hitting that H key and it'll delete it out. And you can go down as far, all the way down to the bedrock if you really wanted. So you can see here, there's a bunch of them, but you can see how far down it goes. Pretty pretty quick way to dig out blocks, or if you wanted to, and you can change it to a block, uh, pyramid, whatever shape you want, um, and then clear it out. Space for, you know, maybe you want to do a missile silo or something, or let's say you wanted to fill this whole giant hole up with TNT. So you can kind of come down to the bottom here, hit tab to go back into your code. So instead of empty space, let's say you want to make a giant bomb. It's all like good fun blowing stuff up. You can see the preview on the TNT there. All right, that's all you got to do. Hit your H button. Keep building. And just keep building it. Whoops. Uh-oh. Stuck inside the bomb. That's not good. And dig our way out, but then it's going to blow us up. So as you can tell, it took a little while, it started glitching, I fast forwarded the video a little bit there so you can see, but uh, Raspberry Pi that uh, mine came with is a Model 3B, it's a little bit older, so it can't handle a lot, and as you can see, there is a lot going on there with 
exploding it. So we got a nice giant hole. You got a little Niagara Falls action going on. Uh, but it'll slowly chug through it. But yeah, you might want to be careful on how much stuff you build. Uh, if you're going to blow it up all at once or you're going to do something really complex. But it'll eventually work its way through. And then you've got yourself a nice giant cave. So that's about it. Uh, you can see all the hotkeys that have pre-programmed for some other things on the right there. As you go through, uh, they'll be added on the right and you can add your own or use the ones from the tutorial. And you don't have to do just the one specific one you just did. But yeah, you can you can use whatever. You got a whole bunch of hotkeys, like maybe you're building a castle and you have a bunch of watchtowers or walls or you're building a, a mansion and you want to do a bunch of rooms. You can just keep reusing those those letters on the right that you assign there. So for instance, if I wanted a, a lava sphere, so I just hit it. So yeah, so if you've you've kind of you've messed up your world a little too much or you've got too much going on, you can also just reset it like you do in uh, normal Minecraft. Go ahead and hit escape, click back to the title, start a game, and this is the existing world here. If you don't want it anymore, you can delete it and create a new one. I'm gonna build the train for you. And you have a nice brand new world to go in and code all kinds of crazy stuff. So here's your new world, all new and fresh, ready for you to build different things. All right, and uh, you don't even have to have a cano to to do this. You can actually, if you have a Raspberry Pi that you got, or if you want to go get one, you can uh, download their operating system and put it on it and make your own. And that's all there is to it. So you can go ahead and program up your own world and build all kinds of stuff. If you like the video, please like and subscribe, and uh, we'll be back later with some more videos. Thanks.